Today, we are visiting with Dr. John Kerner, a Mount Zion obstetrician and gynecologist for over 50 years. Dr. Kerner came to San Francisco with his family at an early age, finished high school in the city at Galileo, and crossed the bay to UC Berkeley, where he was graduated Phi Beta Kappa in 1940. As the program was designed at the time, he entered medical school at UCSF for his last year of college. The pursuit of his career as a physician was interrupted by World War II. He served with extraordinary distinction in Europe as a combat medic, returning with his division on the Queen Mary in September of 1945. Dr. Kerner was involved in the development of the OBGYN department at Mount Zion from its very beginning. When I started here, there was no department of obstetrics and gynecology. There was a department of obstetrics and uh, Zach Cobbins was the chief, and the chief of staff was Franklin Harris, and he considered himself a gynecologist, so he had never had any formal training. And I thought there should be a department of obstetrics and gynecology, which was just evolving at that time around the country. So eventually I convinced the board that we should have such a department, and the first chief was Dr. Harry Giroux. Okay, so eventually they, they said I got appointed uh, chief of that department, and we developed a teaching program here with our own residents, was approved nationally, and we were, and we kept our approval, even though they got more and more strict about who could have teaching departments. And eventually, Mount Zion was the only private hospital in the city with, that, with an approved residency program. Early in his career, Dr. Kerner worked with Dr. Herbert Trout, who had collaborated with George Papanicolaou in a clinical trial to determine the efficacy of using a vaginal smear to diagnose cancer. Dr. Kerner was charged with disseminating information about the pap smear to the medical community, and we learned from him that it was not an easy task. So when I finished my training, the American Cancer Society sent me around the state to lecture about smears, and it was very hard, hard sell. Uh, the pathologist objected to it because they said, you can't make a diagnosis of a smear, you need tissues. And it took quite a while to convince them that smears were worthwhile doing. And obviously now they saved thousands or millions of lives. So Dr. Kerner served as director of the OBGYN department from 1966 until he became president of the medical board and chief of staff from 1975 to 1977. During that time, he was instrumental in the development of the alternative birth center at Mount Zion. And, uh, the first thing I wanted to do was to get fathers in the delivery room to be supportive of their wives. And um, the, there was hue and cry in the community that uh, uh, you get all kinds of infections and all that sort of thing. And, and the father in the delivery room would interfere and cause problems. And uh, so eventually I convinced the people here and the medical society that uh, they could monitor what I did very carefully and see what happened. So anyhow, it became obvious that uh, the women were getting more support having their husband in the delivery room and that there weren't any increase in infections and it was working. We asked Dr. Kerner if there was anyone special he remembered in his 50 years of working at Mount Zion. Uh, when I was here, uh, the, the man who impressed most of us the most was Dr. Fishbaum. He was really a great teacher and also uh, his general knowledge of medicine was far beyond most people. He seemed to know a lot about everything. Dr. Kerner also shared his thoughts on the merger between Mount Zion and UCSS. I'll tell you one thing that uh, I was always against uh, uh, having Mount Zion join with UC. I was, was in favor of keeping Mount Zion continuing as Mount Zion. But they used to always say, and then there's Mount Zion Hospital. Because even if, though this was not a big hospital, 
has had a great reputation in the community. Dr. Kerner claims that he is retired, but that has not stopped him from participating in current research. He told us a little about a cancer drug development project he is working on. The drug that we're, we've developed uh, seems to be most effective against breast cancer, all kinds of breast cancer, and prostate cancer, uh, and also, most important, maybe uh, neuroblastoma, which is the disease of children. Uh, that, for which there's been no treatment, and uh, maybe pancreatic cancer. So we began, so the next thing we want to do is to use it on people. And the best organized department at UCSF is urology. And so we decided that we start using the drug in men with prostate cancer. Also, in his supposed retirement, Dr. Kerner has published a memoir of his service years in World War II. It is a fascinating, insightful account of his experiences in the war, enhanced with interesting photos. Dr. Kerner still travels extensively with his wife, Gwen, and he still plays golf when he has a chance. However, one of his favorite activities now is lunch. One of the things that I've found that really I've enjoyed probably the most since I retired is that uh, I make a point of having lunch with favorite people. I've had some, a couple of favorite patients, more than a couple, and that I see on a regular basis for lunch continuing, which I really enjoy doing. And finally, Dr. Kerner's extraordinary commitment to women's health care and to cancer research was given lasting recognition when his colleagues, patients, and family members helped establish the John A. Kerner Endowed Chair at UCSS.